of whatever the date is, April 12th. Uh, we are going to uh, welcome uh, the fire chief and uh, a contract. But in the meantime, I'd like to go over with Jody. Um, <laughs> Oh, a condition, a letter of condition from USDA. Yeah. All right, so it's going to say, you know, what the loan amount is. There's no grants, all loan. Um, project detail, again, the amounts. Uh, project budget, you know, broken down into the, uh, the budget that we've already provided to them in the application. Okay. Um, we don't have to do anything there. Repayment, she said you want to do every twice a year, once a year. And she said most towns choose twice. So, so it's go with the flow. Head. Yeah, okay. it, it's cash flow. I mean, it's one way or the other. I don't, yeah. know, I don't know that there's an advantage. You know, she did say most people choose, most municipalities choose twice a year. Okay. Uh, uh, this is just that, you know, we have general fund money behind all of this. You don't have to worry about that. Environmental requirements, we've done, we, uh, Royal Tanner submitted all of those as part of the original application. We're required to complete an agreement for engineering services. We've done that already as part of our task order with uh, Royal Tanner. Uh, they're going to approve the bid packages. They already have uh, the bid package that they're, lo they're looking at it now. Right. Uh, has to comply with their whatevers, but you know, and this is all USDA. This is USDA. Okay. Or culprit. Okay. Uh, how they disperse funds? Do they transfer them electronically? Um, we receive less than one hundred twenty thousand in federal awards per year. Yeah, we do. <laughs> um, That's not including the school or anything. No, it's just us. It's just us. Just us. Yeah. Electronic payments. Uh, they want us to pay them electronically, so we'll have to figure that part out okay. when the time comes. Uh, construction completion time frame, they're going to give us five. We have to be done in five years. The culvert has mm -hmm. to be done yep. within five years? So what do you think? I think we can handle okay. that. Okay. Uh, legal services, they, they want us to have a, an arrangement with legal counsel. We do. They're going to want them to review the contract, which, you know. And will that come out of the grant? Yes. Yeah, it's budgeted. Order. Yes, budgeted. Okay. Budgeted. Property. Is it budgeted and legal or into the... No, it's budgeted as part of the budget that we submitted to USDA. It's part of the 400 and overall 35,000. Okay. And that's in the Warren article? Yes. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Property rights, that's the easement process that we're going through now. Okay. They're going to want us to make sure that all the easements that we need are in place. Okay. Either both temporary and permanent. Yep. So well, that's what Royal Tanner is working on with them, and they have to be on special forms, and they're talking back and forth. They're getting that all set up. The facility must operate under sound business plan, but we're not mm -hmm. building a facility. We're preparing culprits. Right. So some of these things don't make sense. Oh, I don't we need a conflict of interest policy. So, so someone has a conflict of interest with the culprit? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm in general. Flip. In general, Sorry. that's OK. Just in general, we need a conflict of interest, and I cribbed one. So it's mm -hmm. on the agenda for us to review on Monday. Okay. Don't have it now, but we will. We will have one. Right. Um, again, we're not with the people them. that bid out with the people that. Just in general, we should have. In, in general, the board, town officials, key departments said we should file a conflict of interest at once a year. Just, just so that we know ahead of time where we might have conflicts. So it's a, it's a grown up thing to do, so we'll, you know, it's not a bad policy to have. Mm -hmm. We're not doing water and solar. Uh, hi, Michael. Wow. Excellent. Happy to see you. I don't see that. We're going through, I didn't know you were coming. The letter of condition that USDA is uh, yeah. working through tomorrow. Yeah. So, Jody, so far, is there anything that has been of concern? Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, uh, let's see. Other agreements, uh, closing instructions. So they, when we close on the project, you know, hopefully October, November, then they release the funds. Mm -hmm. Bond council, we're required to have bond council. We do. They're going to be working with bond council through all of this stuff. Interim financing. They're going to want to know if we have interim financing. If we're looking for interim financing, which you know, I'll tell them. We've been talking to Kenny Buck Savings Bank. Uh, 
they, I don't know if this is true, they want us to establish a construction account for all funds related to the project. If so, we'll just have to set up a special bank account, you know, bank, uh, with citizens. Yeah. Okay. Would that go through the trustee? The, it's no, not for no. a trust fund, it's just as No, no, account. just a special account. So the treasurer, though, will yeah. have to set it up, but not, not the trustees. Right. So these things don't pertain, this doesn't pertain. Uh, if we have other funding sources, we don't. Our only other funding source is our general fund. Our operating budget, uh, again, this is operating budget for like a facility, like if you're building a water plant. Water plant. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. it doesn't really fit. Permits, we need to get all applicable permits, so we're, uh, you know, we're in the process of doing that. Uh, emergency response plan, again, this is for water and wastewater. Yeah. She didn't cross it out, but it's not. So uh, they're going to want to review the bids. Mm -hmm. uh, they're going to want to see the bid tabulation, the results of the public bid. If there are cost overruns, they'll want it to come from us, and then they'll expect us to die we're going to pay for it. If, if there are excess funds, so if the bids come in less, then they'll de-obligate some of the money, which is it seems fine. Uh, our attorney will certify that contract documents have been looked at, uh, performance bonds, payment bonds, uh, and to final rights of way. I think that's part of the equal leasing process. Well, okay. hello. Just live here, huh? You know, that our <laughs> vendors are going to have all the insurance and the bonding that we've been, you know, that Royal Tanner puts into the whole bid package. We'll be with you in three minutes. Take your time, you're a couple minutes out and no, still so. They need to have general liability, work is calm, <coughs> all of these things that they uh, Who would know, really? normally have. I don't know about flood insurance, but whatever. Um, flood it does it, Well, if the project involves acquisition or construction, designated special flood yeah. or you must purchase flood insurance at the time of loan closing. Um, requirements prior to loan closing. This doesn't work. We will likely have interim financing. I'll tell her about that. Uh, we don't have an emergency response plan. I don't know. System for award management. We do have a Dunstan Hour. We are registered with SAM. Uh, police did that last year, so we've got that piece. Uh, litigation, if we're involved in any kind of litigation, somebody sues us, we have to uh, say that we have to notify them. We have to say that our system has a certified operator again, this is for like a water treatment plant. Um, you know, it doesn't pertain because we need to have somebody be inspecting it. Uh, there is something about a pre-construction conference, so uh, we'll have to do that. Yep. They want us to issue a notice of award, which is what we did, which what we've been doing for all our oil tanner things. Uh, Prior agency goods cards for all invoices and partial payments before funds were released. They're not going to release any intermediate, so they're just going to give it to us at closing just because it's a short window. Use of remaining funds. The contribution connection attempt will be the first funds expended. So if, if, we're, if we were doing cost sharing, our funds would, would come first. But again, we're not getting their funds until the very end anyway. We're not getting grant monies. Uh, we have to, you know, we've already done this in the application. We've said that we possess, we the town possess the necessary technical, managerial, financial capacity to follow state laws, federal laws, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, we have to undergo an annual financial audit. We do. Um, the project has federal funds over 25,000. Oh, if we use sub awards, we're not subcontracting. We stop grant. Uh, we can prepay. This is culvert. Oh, that's just culvert. culvert. This is just culvert. Yeah, yeah, just culvert. We have annual financial reporting obligations to them, which we will be happy to do. This is again on our audits. Financial statements, we have financial statements done by auditor. Uh, they want an annual budget and projected cash flow. I mean, our, we're not going to have an annual budget. It's it's just one one short window. Uh, 
Why are you maintaining insurance on the facility? Well, we have property insurance on all this right. yep. stuff. So <laughs> you have to follow, you know, Civil Rights Act, ADA, but there's no facility, so I don't know what it means. Uh, but age discrimination, all anything that might have to do with uh, federal compliance stuff. Uh, again, you know, if we have to do any reporting on ADA, I can't, I just don't even know what that would be, but I said we would do it. Um, and if we aren't compliant, then we risk, you know, access to the funds. And that just talks about SAM and how it right. the whole SAM does. So what I'm, what I'm looking for is, I don't, you know, she's coming tomorrow, we're going to review all of these things together, and if she, if she wants us to sign, because they're looking to make sure all the funds are set up. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm looking to see if the board is comfortable with authorizing me to sign this particular right. so what are the, uh, was the first part letter of condition. Okay. It's a letter of condition that has to be signed before the final obligation of the funds, which we can't talk about until it actually does get finally obligated. Um, so. the, the, the terms of the payment, are they, is that included in this draft? Uh, no, but we know it's 30 years, 2.75. Is that what that, you meant? Uh, well, that's part of it, but um, we pay twice a year, once a year. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. yes. so we, we talked about that. We said twice a year, because that's what most municipalities do. So, uh, so I, you know, uh, I thought you meant prepayment. Don't get a There's no prepayment. There's no prepayment down to the right. Correct. So, yeah. okay. so I will see. I will see. I will see. If not, then we'll bring it back to the board. So, can I have a motion to authorize me to, to do this? <coughs> I think at least Joe can do this on the present. Yeah. I am uh, making a motion to authorize me to sign the USDA letter of condition. Okay. I will make a motion to authorize Suzanne Dewar, chair, um, to have the authorization to sign the letter of condition for the USDA um, culvert, loan. culvert loan from the United USDA. Do you have to second that? No. Oh, I'll second. No, thank you. I'll second. I'll, I will call. Any discussion? I'll vote, but you can yes. just to make sure. Yeah, absolutely. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you for giving all this again. Uh, okay. Still a good office. Well, and now, the other order of business. Is, is are you expecting Jerry? Okay, so we're going to wait. Said he'd be here five minutes, five minutes ago. So you're fine. I saw you looking at the fire. So Chad, did, did Chad walked in, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chad, do you have assessments for us uh, on the, on easements? I need to get some more information before I can come up with a full value. When do you think you will have those? I think I can get it to you by tomorrow, but I just need some more information okay. from the board as to what the plan is at the locations. If you're you know, planning on doing retaining walls, improving the culverts, and all that sort of thing. I just need that sort of information. So, all right. Have you seen the preliminary engineering report? It's all. I have yeah. this. This shows where the easements are, but I haven't. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know if that. It doesn't really show exactly. No, I think the preliminary engineering report. It's a full culvert replacement. Mm -hmm. But there's the. Oh, great. Oh, great. awesome. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. It's not a retaining I mean, wall, but there's still, you know, there is some well, topo topographical changes. I don't know. In any case, it's a lot of that isn't really usable by the owners themselves right now. So I don't think, if you do, I think we'll be improving. So I. OK. I, All right. We're hoping yeah. for, good, for good news for you. Yeah, I don't, yeah we'll see. I don't we'll see. Think, yeah. We have to be fair. Yep. No. Chad, did you think it was at 6 o'clock tonight? Yes. Okay. I thought it was 6.30. The board... Oh, no, no, no. I, I, Caroline asked that I come early to talk about the... to get information about the easements. I thought the meeting was 6.30. Yeah, I yeah, think it's yeah. 6.30. Yeah. All right. Yeah, but you were supposed right. to... Jerry, come on up. Come on up. Okay. I apologize for being late. We had other business to conduct, so... Do you need to go sit in the other office and look at that? No, no, I should go sit. Thank you. All right, so we have a 
pen? Uh, are these two copies of the same note? Uh, <clears throat> correct. Um, when you both of them signed, they will okay. keep an original. The second copy, the owner will All sign right. and return. Do you want to take a quick peek just to just to make sure it's, it's the same? And then it's going to change the select board. And, you know. I've got one copy if you'd like to look at one. Yeah, okay. And the associate, that's the associated specs right there, right? You've that's gone the through them with a fine tooth comb and you are... We, we've done this as a, okay. as a group a couple of different times, fine tuning right. the, the things that we wanted. And uh, we've done it before and we sat down again and Jerry took it back and had to rework some of the figures and, and of course there was a difference in, from last year's right. quotes to this year's quotes. And here we are. Ready whenever one of you is ready. So, Chief, you, um, you, you or one of your um, one of your folks goes out to Iowa and checks it out before um, we take delivery. Is that That's correct. Yeah. Is, is that the cost of travel and all that part of the contract? Or? <coughs> That's correct. Is yeah. there's um, travel, hotel, airfare for two personnel to go down to do a final inspection of the truck before it comes back. And yeah, missing. No, no, I'm responsible to get it back. Perfect. So what is your role? You're a toying rep in this I'm, I'm, a, I'm the dealer, the New England dealer for toying, okay. correct. Okay. So it gets driven back. Cool. 1,500 miles. Wow. Oh, it's not on a flatbed? No. The NFPA regulations say that it can't be flatbed in the back. It has to be driven. No, why? It would be oversized. I'm, right? I'm guessing it's because... Um, a break-in period. If something's going to go wrong, it will. He used to flatbed a lot of stuff back in the day because older, older fire apparatus never went over 55. You know, it would have been a long, long ride. ride. It's still going to be a very long ride. But it is. <laughs> okay, I'll put this. Yes, this and select board. Right, well, I'm, I'm willing to entertain, ready to entertain a motion from. I that we, we signed a contract with Toy Incorporated for purposes of one year. Exactly. Any discussion? Yes. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Um, aye. I'm going to record that it was unanimous so that there's no issue. No. these presents to be executed and the second party is crossed with sealed paper and it testifies authorized rep on this uh, Yeah, I'll just print my name and I'll just put it. 
you want both copies signed? Two, two please, yes. Uh, like I said, they, the owner will sign the second copy, and you guys will get an original back with his signature on it and the date that he signed it. already, but I wouldn't be surprised if maybe some people came in at 6.30. Okay. Somehow I had in my head that it was 6.30. I think you're the only one. Though. I had Glad I showed up earlier. I had it on my phone at 6.30 to begin yeah, with. Yeah, 6.30. Chad thought it was 6.30. He yeah. was just here to see if he, you know, we want to meet with him. Well, so it was posted today at 6. Yes. On the website. There we go. Okay. All right. Well, should we, if we're going to get a big crowd, I'm wondering if we want to we're, so you're going to like talk to? Yeah, folks? my impression was I was explain the process yeah. of the evaluation. Yeah. So how, I'm just trying to rearrange, see how we want to rearrange the room.